should just imagine humans struggling to do basic math at the grocery store. Um, children um, struggling to read books like Pig the Pelgore, Biscuit the Doll. Humans oblivious to the fact that the Greeks and Romans were polytheistic. Hi, my name is Arabella Sigler, and I have just described what the world would be like without teachers. I strongly believe that teachers should be better paid because they have to study for years to do their profession. Teacher small paycheck has to be spread out for the entire year, and they do not get paid a substantial living wage. First, they have to study for years to do their profession. How many middle school teachers you have to study for four to five years? Imagine how much you have to study for to be, to say, a high school teacher or even a college professor. <coughs> also, teachers be in classroom training as a student teacher in college. So instead of just dabbling in what you do in college or maybe in the little job to make sure you, you know what you're going to do. Teachers start student teaching in college, which is a really big step. Not to mention that to become a middle school teacher alone, you'll have to hold a bachelor's degree, complete an approved teaching program, and pass a state requirement test. I know for a fact that it takes four years to complete a bachelor to get a bachelor's degree and to pass an approved teaching program and the standard card test that would take a lot of study. So you have to put a lot of time, effort, and commitment to make sure you pass and complete those. To continue, a teacher's small paycheck has to be spread out for the entire year. Teachers don't get paid during the summer months, but even in the summer, they still have to plan and work. So I know most of you said yes, most of you said yesterday that you've done something but you haven't been, but you have, but there's been no recognition for it, you haven't gotten paid or even gotten a thank you for it, right? Yeah, that's a lot of shit in your head. Teachers also have to use a restricted budget. One reason they have to use a restricted budget is because most schools make teachers buy their own supplies. Some teachers are fortunate enough to have schools pay for it, but some aren't. So imagine paying for like a box of glue sticks that you need, or markers, or highlighters, but you also have a really small salary. That's going to be a money thing. Last but certainly not least, they do not get paid a substantial living wage. So the average yearly wage in Indiana is between the forty-one thousand six hundred sixty and forty-nine thousand eight hundred eight dollars a year. Yet the average wage for a middle school teacher in Indiana. Is $38,285 a year. Studies even show that teachers in other states that are earning even the best salaries, teachers can are still struggling to stay afloat. So now we have an activity again. We'll see if we probably, hopefully, forgot the answers. So let's take $38,285, which is the teacher's salary, minus $750, which is. Oh, come on! I 
yesterday. Jeez. <laughs> so that's 12273 dollars a year. That's how much more you make than a teacher a year if you're working, say, a good job, the high income average. Now that's even more money than the last one. And think of, does anyone have an example of the things you could do with that much money? Probably buy a car. Yeah. Buy cheese. Lots <laughs> <laughs> of cheese. Yeah. He's not wrong. He's not wrong though. Like cheese in here. Cheese. Wait, you're allergic to dairy, John. Yeah, that's, uh -huh. okay. so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Go to Cancun, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. makes $32,544 a year. The average tech manufacturer makes $36,571 a year. And I don't know about you guys, but an extra $4,000 a year sounds pretty nice to me. You guys remember when the school internet broke and we all needed the password, like the internet password? There were two people typing in a password for 100 kids. With more tech manufacturers, we could first of all have more than two people in there, or we could just fix the problem altogether. And our new Chromebooks that we have to get soon, each one of us only gets one of them, so we have to take extra good care of them. With more tech manufacturers, we could each have an extra or two. Finally, it's harming the ecosystem. 3.5 to 7 billion trees are cut down every year. And of that number, 37% are from the need for lumber, for houses, tools, and wouldn't you know it, paper. Scientists estimate, due to there being microorganisms and a bunch of species that we haven't even discovered yet, that 137 species go extinct every single day. Now it's math time. For every eight trees, you can produce 1,500 pounds of paper. If one 500 sheet case of paper weighs five pounds, how many five pound cases would you need to get to 1,500? Kennedy? 300. 300. That's 300 cases with 500 sheets of paper in each. How many pieces of paper is that? 
Blake? A thousand five hundred. Nope. More. Let's think it's a hundred fifty thousand. A hundred and fifty thousand. You're probably thinking, Mason, why are you telling us this? This goes directly against your point. Well, that's what it seems like until you realize that every one of the more than 500 students in the school have four notebooks, and each one of these notebooks has one, two, three, a lot of paper, okay? So, in conclusion, I think that we should be using more technology instead of paper because it's more easily accessible, it's better for the economy, and we're saving the planet in the process. Don't you think we should use more technology?